hey warm to this you know i have an old macbook lying around and in a previous episode i installed mac os 10 lion on it so yeah i decided now that i want to dual boot it with windows and i even hinted on this in the previous video boot camp assistant that will that will be useful in an upcoming video that i have planned so yeah we're gonna open up boot camp install windows and install drivers all in this one video so yeah without further ado let's get started all right here we go we're on the laptop so i wanted to do this with usb but it didn't want to work so okay so i just made a dvd instead windows 7 ultimate x64 so uh yeah before we stick it in let's open up the boot camp assistant thing I can already tell that this is going to take absolutely ages to complete. Why did I open up Disk Utility? That just shows that I'm tired. So, uh, yup, continue. I have already downloaded the Windows support software onto this USB stick. I just dropped it. So now, uh, let's just go... 42... 42 gigs, that ought to be enough. Partition. All right, there we go, we're partitioning the disk. All right, it says insert your Windows installation disk and click start installation. You'll need an authentic installation disk for Windows 7 Home Premium, Professional or Ultimate. I have Ultimate here. So let's just stick it in. And start installation. Alright, we should be booting off of the DVD now. I'm just going to chuck this USB stick over there. <sighs> I can tell this is going to take forever. Alright, after a little bit of waiting, we made it in the installer. Next install now i set the language to english united kingdom because well i'm in the uk anyway setup is starting this stage is known to not take that much time even when ran from a really bad dvd see told you uh i accept next custom now let's go boot camp here and format this to ntfs and it is going to be making what appears to be another EFI system partition, which myself I wouldn't really recommend, but if it's what Apple recommends, then I'm gonna just follow what Apple says. So yeah, this will probably take an hour or two to finish. So I think we should just start like a 10, 20 second time lapse. So yeah, let's just start that time lapse in three, two, one. Oh, 
Oh gosh, it actually just shows the password as you type it. Alright, home network. Alright, Windows is finalising your settings. So yeah, note for self, don't use DVD media to install Windows 7 if you can avoid it. Because that took absolutely forever. Anyways, welcome. It appears it's got video drivers. I don't think this is the right video drivers, but we're going to be installing bootcamp software anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to appear in the desktop, see if we can just control option delete. Huh, that doesn't work. Maybe because we don't have keyboard drivers. So I've got no delete key is backspace. Oh my gosh! And we have AI! We have video drivers? Question mark? Mandy, this is, this is really fast. But this is just... I, this is on a mechanical hard drive as well. Yeah, see? We need some ultimate. So yeah, we're just going to try and install the rest of these bootcamp drivers from this USB stick that I've... And it, look, it even says DVD slash CDRW. Uh, yep, bootcamp. Open folder. Windows support. Setup. Uh, yep. Bootcamp X64 is unsupported on this computer model. Okay, what happened? So I'm probably just going to go off camera just for a bit and then I'm going to come back to you with hopefully me saying that this is a success. But if anything happens, then I'll just start recording immediately and tell you. Okay, so I'll see you later. Okay, I got the installer running. I just had to launch it through an admin command prompt. So yeah, um, welcome to the bootcamp installer. Let's just go next. I accept. Next. Next. I think I I think I'm also installing Apple software. Yeah, installing Apple software update. So yeah, I think I might just need to, since this might take a while, I'm just going to cut to when the drivers and everything is installed. So yeah, I'll be back later. Alright, it appears we installed everything. We start. We don't have audio working, unfortunately, but that might change with the reboot. Shutting down, okay. Alright everybody, good news, we got sound working. I can find the yup and it also opened this boot camp help thing and it also left the MS Paint open and I just oh there's nothing in there let's just close out of that no don't say and let's set up the camera alright here we go we got the camera all set up so yeah this is Windows 7 on a Mac in 2024 let's just it can be quite slow at times, but yeah. We're just gonna chuck the Windows support drivers in the bin as, um, yeah, personalized. Let's change this to something else. Oh, uh, UK. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's just go United Kingdom and change the sound. So what was that cityscape? Oh no 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 no! It's cityscape. Windows log on. That's good. And now let's set the window color to that and. Set some taskbar stuff. So, uh, properties, taskbar location, top. 
uh, combine when the taskbar is full and use small icons. And also move this to the bottom and set the... Okay, yeah, that's bugged. We might need to control shift escape. Uh, processes, explore.exe. And process, uh, run, explorer.exe. Oh, and it didn't, Oh, it didn't. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Yeah. So yeah, this is Windows 7. I am genuinely happy with the result. And uh, yeah, now there's one more thing. What? There's a boot camp? There, there was supposed to be a um, restart to Mac OS 10 boot camp icon, but I think I'm going to reboot to get. What? What? Alright, here we go. So why is this here? Oh, there's different keyboard layouts, either United Kingdom and United Kingdom Apple. Yeah, the, we should probably be, just go United Kingdom Apple. So yeah, let's just reboot for now and see if we can get that option showing. Alright, we're in. Let's see if we can find that option. Aha, right there. Let's click it. Restart in Mac OS X. Are you sure you want to restart the computer? Your computer will start up using Mac OS X. Sure. Oh, I just yanked the cable. By charging the cable, that was, um... Let's see if this can boot. Let's see if this will boot, rather. Oh, it's booting up into OS X. So, yeah, I'd say this is a good point to end the video. This took me over an hour and a half to make. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!